Kickers can either win the game or lose the game. Kickers can also be one of the most loved players at the end of the game or one of the most criticized players at the end of the game. But kickers, believe it or not, are one of the more important positions in football. Here's why. Now what exactly does a kicker do in football? A kicker is the main player on the special teams unit and is in charge of the kicking duties and kicking the ball through the uprights, which are called field goals that are worth three points, or PATs are known as point after touchdowns for one point. A kicker is also in charge of what's called kickoffs, where he puts the ball in play at the start of each half and after a successful field goal, which happens after a touchdown. This kickoff will be placed on what's called a kicking tee, and it will be kicked to the opposing team, which will be changing the possession of the football. This kickoff is kicked from the 35-yard line in the NFL and college, and is kicked from the 40-yard line in high school. When kickers first started in football, they used what's called a straight-on style of kicking, where they would use the tips of their toe and have a flat top on their cleat in order to kick the football. As the game is modernized, kickers are now usually former soccer players that grew up learning and developing the soccer style of kicking, where you kick with the inside part of your foot. And from there, you implement that soccer style into kicking and perfecting the accuracy of kicking a oval-shaped football as opposed to a round soccer ball. That's why when you see a kicker set up, they're not kicking straight on the football. They're usually taking three steps back and then they'll take two steps over to the side just to compensate for hitting with the inside part of their foot to make sure that they have the most accuracy when kicking the field goal or kicking off. One thing you may not know about kickers is kickers actually have their own footballs that are different from the ones that the offense uses. And these balls are tagged as K balls, meaning kicking balls. And the leather on the K balls are much more broken in and softer than the regular footballs. So the ball will be able to travel farther and won't be as hard when kicking it. Usually NFL equipment managers will take a brush or even use a brush machine to get all the wax off the football and really condition the leather so that the leather is softer on the football and that you're able to kick it further and make it a little more rounder. This is why when you see kickers kick off, they take the ball and they end up squeezing it to soften the leather. So they'll squeeze it sideways like this and then they'll squeeze it end to end just to really make sure that they're softening the leather just so they're able to kick it a little bit further. And you notice the balls that they're kicking, they're really broken in as opposed to this leather here, which is a little bit lighter and not as broken in. One thing you may notice about some kickers in the NFL is that some of them actually wear two different style cleats. The cleat on their kicking foot is usually a soccer style cleat, where the plant foot is usually some sort of football style cleat. And they do this because the football style cleat usually has better traction with longer spikes so that it's not going to slip when they go to plant their foot. Whereas the soccer cleat is usually worn about a size or a half a size smaller just so that there's less space between the foot and the ball when they make contact when they kick. Most kickers actually prefer less space in between the ball and their foot where 30 plus years ago in the NFL some kickers used to actually kick barefoot because they made better contact with the football and were able to control it a lot better. And most of the time, if a team has a kicker, that kicker kicks field goals as well as kickoffs. But some of the times, teams will actually carry two different kickers, one that specializes in field goals and then one that specializes in kickoffs. They're one of the most important players on the team due to the pressure factor and the consistency with having to perform. If a wide receiver drops one to two catches, it really isn't noticed and will be forgotten. If a kicker has a bad day and misses one to two field goals, it's a tough day at the office where you're criticized. One thing that some people may not realize when a kicker misses a kick, sometimes it's not all on them. Your kicks are also dependent on the long snapper, making sure that there is a consistent snap, making sure the snap isn't high, the snap isn't low, and that the holder is putting the ball down correctly, not having the laces towards you so that you can kick the flat side of the football just to make sure that you're getting a consistent kick every single time. To keep learning more about different football positions, click here to check out our other position videos.